Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server. We're in the West Hill River Inn, just outside of the medieval town of West Hill, which is really quickly approaching four years old. Uh, we are currently in the three years and change, but this fall will be four years in this area on this build. And we are slowly but surely creeping up on the end of everything. We are uh, working right now on this little cottage that we put along the North Road. And uh, I'm going to take a minute. Uh, we're going to sleep here and get some sunshine uh, permanently for the next day. And then uh, I want to take a walk around and double check before I start putting all the finishing touches on this. I want to make sure I'm happy with where it is. And I think I am. I think it looks pretty good. But uh, for now, I'm just going to bounce around and destroy the pink. They're everywhere. Seriously. Uh, and then take a look and see what it might look like from different vantage points around the town. I can't really see it from up here because of the, the tree. I think it looks okay. I, I don't think it competes too much with the the surrounding area like it doesn't overpower the wheat field it doesn't really push too hard against anything else it'll feel different once it's all nestled inside uh the area with some bushes and gardens and things so where's the closest bed i guess would be down here oh the tables and chairs data pack has been messed around with here beds are in the next building. But this is the building I was thinking of. Manky Hamster, good to see you again. Welcome back. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits kicking off the stream. Thanks for the work and the lurk. Appreciate it. Support is always welcome. Crosshatch, Dan, Sweet Sandy, good to see everybody. Obu also hanging out in chat. So my main concern is the experience in the road. So we'll pop down to the road and see what's up. I think I was talking about this on the Sponge Chunks on Monday, where I was joined by Tadpole Milk, filled in for Johnny one last week. Johnny should be back next week. We talked about time in the worlds. We talked about long-term worlds, long-term projects, and how we think about time and how spending a large amount of time in Minecraft uh, on one project, how it affects how you think about the game. Um, I think what's nice about this is that even though it overlaps a lot of things, the wheat mill is so far in the distance that it really still separates, like it's because it's so far away. That might not be exactly the same with shaders because there wouldn't be any atmospheric perspective, but... I like that it's underneath the tree. We kind of lucked out in, in how we guessed how it might look. So we'll go north-south here for a minute. I think that's pretty good. Obviously, it'll look better once we actually have some things on it. One of the other issues, of course, with um, a build like this with shaders on is that the way that these shaders work, the sun passes kind of like in a low arc, uh, just like it does in the northern hemisphere. But that means that any kind of north face on a building is in shadow. And I ran into this problem a lot with the main gate of West Hill. So pro tip for anybody that you either, if you want to switch the sun position, you can in your shaders. But if you want it to feel pretty natural, especially with where you live in the world, uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere, then don't put the main gate or the main face of your castle build giant base whatever it is don't have it face north maybe make it face south because you'll get a lot more sunshine this is almost always in shadow it's got some nice highlights along the east and uh, some dappled sunlight that comes in from the west when the sun sets but this is always shady <laughs> so that's always a, a bit of a pain super fast good to see you good to see you hope you're having a good day so far all right, so that's what it feels like to walk by. What does it feel like to walk towards? Specifically, I'm looking at a feeling, you know, when you come into the valley here. I 
We do have some more stuff to do out here too. I realized the other day that there's a lot of things in the... This Spruce River is really not that, that finished. We've got a lot of work left to do on that. So you really can't see much of a difference. And again, that's because of the north face. We've got this north cliff and this north house. The north cottage. North facing cottage, I should say. But again, it's far enough, I think, uh, in distance and in difference of color and tone from the wall that it doesn't blend into the wall. I don't think it really blends in to the roof line of the wall. I think it's different enough. The only thing, it, it does look like that chimney maybe belongs to this. But we might actually put that chimney a little higher. Super fast, subscribe for tier one. That's two months. Thanks so much, super fast. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll need to do... It needs some sort of framing. Right now we've got like a background ele element and a mid-ground element, but we need like a foreground element here. So we need something here to make this feel framed. And I think one of the things we could do... Hmm, I don't know if I want to bring a path down there or not. There is this path that goes down here, right? To this little dock. And I'm wondering if we could make... I knew that was going to happen. If we could make another path that maybe comes up here. Maybe we can have that be a little circle. I feel like that would be doable. Because then we could have something here that would kind of frame the house a bit. A little path that goes around the side here. Yeah, I think if we decorated that, that could look that could look pretty good. Obviously, we'll mess around with the position of it and whatnot, but uh Yeah. I also feel like we might want to have a gate on this side. Like right there. I think that would be good. Do I have one over there? No. I think that would make sense. Yeah, so far so good. All right, let's check out the other places. I, I like to do this when it's been like three or four days since I last looked at this. And it's sometimes nice to just double check, like, is the thing that you were envisioning looking the way that you want? Like, is it working? Is it uh, feeling the way that you want it to? I'm a little bit more at ease with the materials now. I, I don't find that the materials really bug me as much as they first did. I still want some lighter blocks in the roof. And if, if anybody can think of something lighter, I'm thinking maybe some jungle wood would work. But let me know if you can think of anything that's lighter in the roof that we could work on. One advantage there would be the fact that we could use um, use trapdoors. I used a lot of jungle over there, but it's not entirely jungle. It's not like a solid trim. I feel like this, we might be able to trim it in jungle. Stripped birch. Stripped birch is probably a little bit too light. So I don't want to go bright like that. But I'm thinking a lighter color, but I want it to be in the same hue range. So the kind of pinky warm hue so not yellow but like in the in that word that realm no stripped oak is going to be the same kind of yellowy right we're going for more of an orange all right let's just check over here i'm curious what it looks like from this side you can't see it here Okay. Yeah, I feel like a path there would be good because it would also kind of make it feel functional. If 
feels a little bit funny sometimes from this side. The shape of it feels very front heavy. I'm wondering if I could make this go down a little bit lower. Apparently there's drown somewhere. I hear him. Oh. You shouldn't be there. <laughs> it's a creepy thing to find in your farm. Imagine going to do some wheat farming and all of a sudden you hear blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really where it's meant to be viewed from, so it's not looking the best from over here, but that's fine. It's also currently um, in the shade because the sun's going down. So let's quickly pop over here and see it from in here. Yep, I think the only thing that's a little bit funny right now is that this feels kind of weirdly square. I think we could maybe bring this down a little bit and have it feel a bit more gradual. And I've got some ideas. Are there any copper variants that could work on the roof? Uh, maybe? Maybe? It could be a possibility. This would be the closest. I mean, we'll test it without the shaders on too. Jungle. Oh, I already had some slabs somewhere. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. Thanks for coming by as always. All right, I'm not really gonna be able to find out much, I don't think, with the shaders, so let's just switch those off for now. Unfortunately, not quite as good without the shaders. I feel like, yeah, I think the jungle wood goes better than the copper. There's just an awful lot of pink in the copper. I think that that works a little bit better, especially if I can put those going the other way. I don't know if I can do. Yeah, that might work a little bit better. I don't want to do it all over the place, but and I don't think I want to do a full trim in the oak, but we'll give it a go. What do I not need? I don't need the grass right now. Coarse dirt. Clay. So just to kind of illustrate what could be happening there. We might be able to mix in a little bit. I do think I like the mud bricks, but we might be able to add a little bit of texture to that. It might be fun to do it on the top part of the roof 
because then that would give us access to trapdoors and allow us to put in a little bit more shape. So for example, if I get up here and let's say I wanted to swap this block out. Oh, there's nothing underneath it. That's a pain. Right, and then maybe I wanted to switch this to either a stair or, not, or something else, and then I could do that, and maybe this kind of a thing. And that gives us a little bit more flexibility as far as the height. Although that still feels a little bit flat. Maybe the thing to do would be to go with slabs across the top. And then that will go that. Switch this back to bricks. Then up here, we could use that maybe I don't think I like the, the stairs or we could even just use a regular slab and then over here we could switch this out maybe like that. Hmm. I might not have enough of a roof to do this. It's we were talking about this on the sponge chunks on Monday. It's a little it's a little on the small side for gradients. And by little, I mean challengingly small. That's not bad. I like that. I think that gives a little bit of, of a rustic feel to it. I wonder if we could try to do that like over top of things. Oh, that's kind of fun. I don't know about using them both there and in the fence though. So I'd have to be careful. Because I'm shifting a couple of these colors lighter in the top, I'm also feeling like I want to put more mushroom down here. Maybe Let's just put this somewhere where I can't see it from the front. Maybe we go back to the bricks up here. I 
Or... This is where some of the details and ideas are going to help with the color balancing. CJ RV Williams subscribed with Prime 33 months. That's amazing, CJ. Thank you ever so much. Another month on the books. Happy Wednesday, Joel. Happy Wednesday to you. Thanks for coming by. What about something like this? Nope. I thought it was going to look good, but it does not. Uh, maybe the opposite. Maybe what we need is to go instead of higher where the windows are, we need to go lower where the windows are not. So we would replace all of this. We'd go with bricks here and there. No, sorry, here and there. And then I guess the trapdoor. That's a little bit cooler. Can't really see the trapdoor down here anyway. I do sort of, I think I like the mix. I'm really torn between this um, mud brick and the, uh, the jungle. I think if we do this, I think I have to make the top part a uh, mud brick slab. Maybe I can get away with this again. No, nope. just not, the build is just not big enough to have that. I might be able to get away with this. Nope. Just not the right thing. Thanks for the lurk, CJ. I appreciate it. I, uh, and I appreciate everybody that comes by here on what is probably a busy work day and decides to hang out, spend some time, and uh, and help the stream out by lurking in the background. It's it's very cool, and it helps out a lot. Oh, I like that. I think that only works if we also do slab there. Oh, it looked better before, I guess.
think I like that. All right, let's tackle this weird edge here. Where do we want this to come down? I feel like I'm two blocks too far. I think that stair is going to be back here. At least. We'll move it one block at a time and see how we feel. Better than it was. What if we went one more? I think that's it. I think that's the right the right look. Not on that last decision, though. I sort of want to make these into skylights. I'm not sure how that's going to look from the inside. Where is that? In line with the window. That block? Yeah. All right. Maybe? Oh, it feels a little funny from the outside, though. That's too bad. Yeah, a little bit funny there. What about leaning into that space, though? You could maybe do something there. Hey, there's Cosmic Dancer. How's it going? Uh, let's go. What if I move this? Put one of these here. That can go like that. Jungle wood is one of those woods that's reversed in terms of how the grain goes when you place it. Weirdly, I think that might look better as a mud block slab. I thought it was going to look better as wood, but oh, you know, right. You can't jump off scaffolding. Why would that ever be a thing? What kind of sensical decision would that be? Hmm. It's going to look really weird flying over it, but I think it'll look good from the ground. Oh no, maybe not. Something else that I've used over here that I should probably consider is pressure plates.
just a little bit. They could also be used down here too. Mm, mm hmm. I like it. There's also jungle signs are a possibility. We wanted to work in some extra texture. Obviously that's too much, but really does add some lightness to the block. Ah, it's a little distracting. It's a good idea. It's a little distracting. I could also choose instead of a pressure plate to do something like that up here. Where it's not going to be so distracting, maybe. I like that. I don't know if I like it more or less than the bare jungle would. I think I like the bare wood better. Aldebar, good to see you. How's it going? Thanks for giving a shout out for Aldebar. We were just talking about you on the Spawn Chunks, Aldebar. Uh, Tadpole Milk was on the show on Monday. And he was talking about how you were uh, helpful in both the trimming of several, several chunks, just a few chunks from Tadpole's world, uh, but also um, the um, trial chamber runs. I think you guys did that together. Correct me if I'm wrong. Famous? I don't know about famous. Infamous, maybe. We'll go with infamous. So I like the little window. I think I need to get rid of uh, this other mud block up there. Great discussion with Tadpole. Really liked the talk about long-term worlds. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, it's uh, it worked out quite well. I, I was pretty happy with the way that the, the combo went myself. I mean, Tadpole's really easy to talk to, so that's always that's always a bonus, right? I feel like we have a bit of a pattern on the bottom here, so maybe I want to remove some of the mushroom blocks. I also have to be careful here. I should probably get inside and start planning what the inside is going to look like. I, uh, I've run into issues before where I get a little bit carried away texturing the outside of a building and then realizing I have to make some changes in order to accommodate stuff inside, so we should probably make some block palette choices inside as well. I like that. I think we're just going to reverse it. Where's my other block? Did I pick it up? Maybe I picked it up. Is it better to be famous or infamous, though? I mean, it's a joke, so you could argue for either side. Also, welcome in the Ricky Roy. I think probably famous. It depends. I guess it depends on if you're an egomaniac, probably infamous. I don't know. I'm debating whether a, a stair would look good up there. Feels not as connected. Oh, there's my block. Hmm. 
Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll leave it like that for now. All right, so we're going to switch out the inventory a little bit. Uh, I need to think about what's going on inside where we have very, very little room. And we're going to have to put some spruce, I would say, or jungle in the ceiling. I really wish it hadn't started raining first thing in the morning. That's annoying. All right, let's create some light inside so we can see what we're doing. So as far as maybe roof supports, we'd obviously want to cover that up. So we can go with that kind of a thing. Or we can go with jungle. Don't mind the brown. Because I don't think the jungle trap doors are going to look all that good. No. Yeah. Don't know about that. Maybe we need to have that go up a little bit higher. I think that works a little bit better. And that does help a little bit too. So we'll probably end up going with spruce in the rafters just because it is easier. Windows are probably... We could try glass. I, I don't know if that's going to really work, but a lot of the time what I end up doing is um, these kind of windows and... Normally I'd want them to be shut from the outside. Because most of the time you view these places from the outside. And again, these are going to be the right color, but they're going to look funny because of the f using them as a fence. Valdair subscribing at tier one, 14 months. Thanks very much. Happy Wednesday, says Valdair. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. I don't mind the square. Don't mind the square. The other thing is that we could have this one be open and we could fake it and have it look like it's open sideways. Although that's a big window to be open. Maybe we don't open both of them. Right, maybe we just do that. Which one is open will probably greatly depend on what we have decorated inside. I think that's okay. This is where the chimney is. 
So this is probably where we should put the stove. Probably something like that. There's going to be a door here, and the door has got to be... We could probably put the door on the outside. Finished up a bunch of work, Valdera. That's great. Good timing. Good timing. One of the best data packs I've ever made, and I don't know whether it works in 1.21. But having wood recipes in the stone cutter is fantastic. So this is probably going to be on the inside, and it's going to open this way. It might be worth using a different color here just to kind of create some shadow. Kind of faking it. And we'll probably go better with the things I want to do in here, like this. Oh, that doesn't look good. Actually, it might be better off as a jungle plank. Yeah. So it looks better from the outside as spruce, but I think from the inside it's probably going to look better as jungle or, or even um, something gray. Maybe that'll solve both problems. Uh, Crosshatch, the recipe system was slightly reworked in 1.21, so it's likely won't work. Yeah, no, exactly. But I think that it's just me having to go to the deconstruction.ca and make a new one, which will just be time consuming, not difficult. I like that from the outside. That's probably gonna look pretty good from the inside as well. Yep. Uh, now that, that is not something I like. Uh, how could we... Almost like you want to go with some sort of gray up there, right? A gray slab. don't think this will work. Nope. What is a gray that's really close to acacia? Probably andesite. Yeah, either andesite or stone. Or tough. If I had tough slabs. Oh, that's frustrating.
Finally, get to rid of, rid of the rain. It converts in some form or fashion. We've tested it prepping for Infinity Cove on the move up. Oh, I meant to ask you guys, is Infinity Cove still on 1.20.4? Are you looking to move to 1.21? Cosmic Dancer, best to the family. Tell everyone that I said hi and enjoy the board games. <laughs> Two kids wanted to play board games. Luckily, they are both my kids, so it's not as strange as it sounds. Good call. Appreciate the clarification, Cosmic. I did get there on my own, but I enjoyed that you explained it. <laughs> That's great. All right. Grade number one, probably the better of the two choices. And grade number two. I actually might have been wrong. I just don't like this weird combo of multiple things. That's tough. I think that's less noticeable, but then I still have this weird combo here, and I don't know what to do about that. Maybe if I put spruce up there, it would look good. This is going to have some sort of support. Is that the middle? No. The window is the middle. Oh, well, then this could be. Oh, that doesn't make a lot of sense then. That actually looks okay. I'm surprised. And we're probably not going to see that, really. In the grand scheme. We could probably get away with a barrel in there instead of using the trapdoors. And I feel like this is going to be a really good spot to hang a lantern. Um, it's going to be a very strange kind of cottage because the kitchen is going to be back here. I guess we're going to have to tuck like a bed in here somewhere. Probably a table here. That'll be the furnace and a little bit of a chimney. What's going to go best with the um, the andesite? Probably a blast furnace would be my guess. Elkhorn95 and Pax have been working on getting Infinity Cove ready for 1 to 21. They've been testing. Right, okay. I'm at the same, same phase. I'm going to have to ask them what they've found. Because the, the Infinity Cove, for people that don't know that might be watching this later, Infinity Cove is my patron server. So if you go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, then you can um, sign up at a specific level. I think it's $10 a month to support me. And then that gets you access to Infinity Cove with, I think it's about 20 people that play all together. I don't think they're all on at once. I think there's probably a, a, a spread of how many people are on at any one time. But it's uh, a bunch of really like-minded like -minded folks. A lot of them are regulars here in the uh, in the chat you would probably recognize. Uh, blast Furnace, I think. 
I don't think the smoker. And then probably Acacia and that. And this is straight out the back. I don't think I want to move that. Technically, I could save a lot of space and put it in the wall. But I like the idea of having a little... Yeah, I think it has to be different. It's not bad. Tough walls would look really good for that if they have tough walls in 1.21. I think they do. I think maybe the regular furnace is the winner. What do you think? Chat? Blast furnace? I think I like that one. Normal furnace, normal, sorry, can't speak today. Normal furnace looks good. That's a weird thing to say. It's a lot harder than you'd think. Normal furnace, huh? That odd tongue twister. Uh, whitelist is 20 ish, 10 or so active, says Elcor95. That's cool. That's still a, that's a good amount of people, though. The biggest change in Infinity Cove is that we're abandoning tables and chairs for the Valhelsia furniture. Small, similar mod, but seems to have a better support update cycle. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Thanks, Elkhorn. Because that's my issue too. It's either, it's either find another mod or my anticipation was to get frustrated with tables and chairs and have to completely write one myself or with the help of someone that I would pay to do it. Um, for folks that don't know, the tables and chairs data pack is um something that i use and have used quite a lot of unfortunately uh for things like this tables and chairs and multiply this by that town and you will have an idea about how many tables and chairs i have to replace should i switch to a different mod or write my own data pack or write my own mod maybe the maybe is it uh, do you know elkhorn with your your chats with with packs has it been something where the decision to go to a mod was over going to a data pack? Was that something that was made on purpose? Are, are mods easier to deal with? Not the shiny one. I think that might be better to actually have that there. I think this is also going to be a slab. So probably either a cobble slab or an andesite slab. Normal furnace looks good. Uh, I think the, um, yeah, I, we were not on 1.21 yet, so I don't have access to tough walls. Maybe we just use the one wall. 
feels a little unfinished though. I like the lower profile, but we don't have a gray trapdoor. That could really work. So that's going to be a table. That, or we'll put the table in the corner. Probably in the corner. Uh, this will end up being maybe not a full thing like that, but we'll probably have some sort of counter block. And then, yeah, this is a weird space. Probably the bed. Maybe I should use wood for that. A chair. Or there. And then I don't know what we would. I don't want to put anything on the corner here because that makes this space really, really small. I want to put a bookshelf somewhere. Hmm. Now here, nope. I feel like that gives a nice bit of detail outside. It's that, or we do it inside. Nope. Now well, that looks okay too. But it does not look great in here. Hmm. There are just a few mobs around. Let's see how they feel in the sunshine. Run for the trees. Zombies are not too bright, as one would expect. I hit that guy from back here. Oh, almost. Probably at a range. I can't tell. Time on server to take a break, says Sandy. Thanks very much. You're right. I completely lost track of time. I need to do that. For folks that are new to the channel, Although, I feel like it's a lot of regulars today. I do take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh my water. You too. Grab something to drink. Grab something to eat. Grab a friend. I was close. I was pretty close. They were actually getting there. They just We just couldn't see them. 
and uh, I'll be back in like five or six minutes. Be right back.
the scaffolding is kind of getting in the way, but I think I'm happy with the way this is going. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. A little busy over here. Again, I might want to go with spruce along the bottom for shadow. We tried that uh, with the doors and it didn't work, but this might look better as spruce instead. It's a little bit less busy. I wanted to grab a barrel. And a lantern. I also need some food. Low on rockets as well. E Jojo. Sorry, E Jo G. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, so I'm thinking that will probably be a good space for the barrel. Not the barrel. Well, yeah, the barrel, but also the lantern. Uh, that absolutely lights everything up that we need it to do, so that's good. And then I'll put this up here. Whoops, what was that? Mushroom block? And I just need to get up there. Maybe facing the other way. We should probably think about where to put a street lamp out here too. That's the other thing. We'll think about that as we deal with the, uh, the front walk, I guess. Jody Illyria subscribing with Prime. That's 37 months. Hi, Joel and chat. I'm so excited I can finally catch a stream. We are excited to have you here too, Jody. Thanks for coming by. And thanks for the sub. Really appreciate the support. How many subs is that today? That's like, it's got to be five. I think. Is there a, uh, let's go with, let's try to look this up live. Why not? Three new subscriptions. Doesn't say. Doesn't say total subscriptions. But I feel like there's been more than three. Well. Uh, one. Two, three, four. Oh, all right. So maybe the stats on Twitch just haven't caught up to Jody's, Jody's sub. Either way, it's a good day. I really appreciate the support. Um, did I have, did that right inside? That works. I don't. I don't know if. Yeah. So that's gonna stay like that. All right. I may have to do some cover up in here. We'll see. This is where I was thinking about putting a bookshelf, but it makes things so narrow. I, get, I mean, I guess we could separate it into two separate rooms. That could work. We could have like trap doors and maybe have this kind of go over the top. Maybe. Ah, that looks a little bit funny. Mm. 
Yeah. B. Ramsey, it's been a while. West Hill's looking great. Thanks very much. We have indeed been busy. We have indeed been busy. I need more trap tours. Yeah, so the last few weeks we've been working on this lilac farm, the pumpkin farm. We did all of the green space all along here. There's a new little path down to the river over there. Uh, we have not yet textured the roads. The roads are still pretty plain. Right now we're working on this little homestead cottage here to kind of fill in this space. And once this is done, then we'll have to like fill this in and, and fill that in. I also don't know what I'm doing with this. And then the big question mark is, well, what do we put here? Not really sure. Tree stump was one of the things. But I don't remember the last time you were here, but there's definitely been been a lot of changes. And we do have some things. We, we've not really done much with the Spruce River yet. So this is going to be the last thing I think we have to do outside the town. Uh, but once we're done this area here, we are good. Like this whole eastern side is done. All the, once we finish this little section here. I say little, it's a lot of work. Jody, thank you. That sort of works okay. Oh, right. I wanted to cover that up, didn't I? What if I put that back? That sort of makes an archway. Not terrible. What are we going to do with the floor? Uh, that's andesite. I like the andesite as the foundation, so I don't want to do anything andesite related. I don't want to do cobblestone, I don't think. Maybe just plain stone? Or tough? Gravel's gonna look a little funny. I guess we could try stone bricks. There's also smooth stone. A wood floor? Yeah, I could do a wood floor too. Oh, there's a door in that. Whoops. Not that. Probably not that. Don't mind the tough. Yeah, the gray's a little boring. Uh, the tough is okay. Thankfully, it's just a small space, so it really... 
I don't know. It doesn't matter. Thanks for the lure super fast. Enjoy the rest of your day. I don't think I want to try any dripstone. Don't want to do... Could try planks maybe? Or jungle bark. Could go really dark with it. I think maybe we can do that in front of the stove. That makes sense. Maybe even all the way around it. And then Try something warmer. Mmm, too fancy. Too dirty. I've got a funny feeling we're just going to do a spruce floor. Probably got one to be what we're gonna do. It just feels so low brow. It does look pretty good though. All right, we'll go with that. Someone needs a second inventory. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of all the bricks. Welcome back, Alcorn. So I think that gives me all the things that I would want to do. We also could have a little bit more fun with some barrels. It's a pain in the butt, but it could look cool. Especially under the doors. So for example, here. And I think that goes the same direction no matter what, right? Um...
Yeah. Okay. If I put the bed there, that could end up looking like a shadow, so that could be kind of fun. And we'll do the same sort of barrel trick here. Just kind of looks cool. A little bit different. Actually, maybe we'll do that there. I'll do a trap door. How do I not have them on? They're there. It's like, that is ridiculous. Of course I have them on me. Trying to there's something else that has a good wood texture too. I don't remember what it is. Oh, that's a little bit funny there. Let's put that over here. I guess I could try this texture. Not really great. I think that's pretty good. Now, I should probably just do the table and chair, even though I know it's going to be a pain in the butt to fix it later. But I feel like that might be a good spot for another barrel. I wish the blocks like that in Minecraft were consistent. I feel like that's pretty good. Might want to switch this up. Yeah. Uh, the bottom of a loom have a nice pattern. I think the loom does. I think maybe I'm thinking about the book, the chiseled bookshelf. Loom is going to be too bright, I think. It does have a nice pattern, but it's very stark. That wouldn't really go with what I'm doing. Oh, uh, I was probably thinking about the composter. That's probably what I was thinking of. Yeah. Now, I don't have the details for the beds, and I think my tables and chairs, shulker box is inside. Ooh. Not the best landing. Don't 
don't think there was anything more. I guess I should maybe think about bringing out the crops. Potatoes, beets, carrots. Do that. I think I'm good. Yeah, again, the beehive is is good, uh, but it's also very bright. I, th I don't know what I was thinking of. I guess I'm thinking about the bottom of the barrel. I thought there was another spruce-like texture that I was using, though. Actually, I'll put that over here. Probably a dark oak table would be my guess. Or maybe an oak. I may not like that in the corner. The dark oak is probably the lesser of the evils. I'm assuming spruce is going to be too much like the floor. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll put dark oak over here. We'll put the stripped over here. I liked that sign on it. And I guess the chair is okay. I'm going to change it to face the other way. Didn't I just em empty my inventory? Actually, it might look better if I turned the chair. Probably looks better from the outside that way. Yeah. Looks more like a chair. Oh, I meant to bring out the uh, the beds. Whoops. Not crazy about this little tangent thing here, so I might try and do something there. I know I just put that sign there. I kind of wonder whether a trapdoor would look good there. Yeah, that's much better. Do 
did I have an extra bed? Don't, but I've got wool out here. I'm assuming probably a gray bed would be the best. Man, I am really spreading out here, aren't I? Gray, white beds are tend to be pretty bright. I feel like this, well, that might blend in with the andesite. It's probably gray or brown. I've got a whole shulker box of beds. I should really just go get that. I have one for this purpose. The only thing about getting into the details is that you always seem to have stuff that's in a different storage room. Much better flying that time around. As big as Westall is, it's only one rocket to get from wherever I am to someplace else. Thought I had beds. Maybe I've used them up. Weird. Maybe I have used them up. I could have sworn I had a whole shulker box full of beds. Oh, here we go. Being too fast. Um, purple bed is something I'm unlikely to use. We should be able to just dye these now. So the bed will go here, and then it looks like a shadow underneath the bed. Brown is a little drab, a lot like the floor. Let's try the light gray. Hopefully this won't match too much with the side. I think that's okay. The only other option I can think of would be like a dark gray. That would be fun if you could actually just dye something like that. That's kind of blue, isn't it? Green, maybe? Everything else is going to clash. Green is the only other one that's kind of earthy. You know what? Nope. I think we're going back to the light gray. Cool. I like being at the end of the game in Minecraft with all of the stuff. Everything is just an ender chest and a shulker box away from having a decision made. I really like it. Chest. 
For anybody wondering, this is a special texture for trap chests. I made them look like spruce chests. It's very handy. All right, I think that's pretty good. I don't think I want to spend too much time in here uh, doing too many details until the very end, but I think I've kind of established that this is a big enough space for the bed and you know a chair and the table and some decorative things. So we'll worry about the rest when we do the finishing touches. I also need to put this door back. I think I preferred it when it was inside. B. Ramsey, resubscribed Prime for 20 months. Thanks so much. Really appreciate the support. That's the fifth sub today, I think. Do trap chests still exist? Yeah, whole, totally. They absolutely still exist. People don't bother with them most of the time. But for us, it provides an extra... an extra... Um, texture. I, you know, I might want to put the back door as... As a spruce store. A little bit more utility. Yeah, let's go try it. Those shouldn't be there. I don't know if I want to keep the chicken or not. All right. I think I need to make some decisions about the chimney. Finish, add some more texture to the roof. Oh, right. Okay. Maybe that has to be that. So here is where we'd want to use the trapdoors again, just like I did over here. Alternating. So the trap door was in the middle. Actually, probably go the other way. Now that looks weird there. I don't know why. I liked the way that it looked over here. I might want to go back to using jungle wood there. Of course, that messes this up a little bit. Hmm.
I take it you're from the UK, Broken Through? Yeah, see, that looks kind of broken. They walk right at you. Right at you every time. Mika Peak, thanks very much. It has indeed come along. I don't really want to stop what I'm doing and get all this stuff from this guy. There are a couple of bright colors, but I just can't be bothered. Do, 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 do. Where do I put that? There. Yeah, if I do anything there, I feel like it has to be something special. I'm wondering if a barrel might look okay up there. And then we could maybe add a jungle sign to it to give it more of a jungle feel in terms of the color. I don't know. I think I do prefer the jungle on the bottom. Maybe I just need to do this, but just keep the bricks. Yeah, that's not bad. I need a blank, so I just need sticks. That obviously flipped a trapdoor inside somewhere. <laughs> Which I think is now back to normal. <laughs> okay. I need a cleanup crew. <laughs> I think maybe we can get away with this going back to at. And then, I don't know. No, 
No, I think we have to go with either a single sign up against the mushroom stem or... No, I think we do another... I think we do another gate. I think I like them better open. What do we think, chat? Open or shut? I think the ends might look a little bit better closed. Could also do that. I think I like the combo right now. This has been bugging me this whole time. I'm not even sure how much I like that. Maybe a little bit more andesite would be good. Always found it difficult blending stone to dirt. The contrast by not using mossy blocks is interesting. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. This isn't done. This is me just kind of spitballing some ideas. This was just a rough, rough look at that path. I think I might have actually gone a little bit too far here.
a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we missed one. Um, what do we want to do there? I think maybe smooth stone? Uh, Yulon CL, welcome in. Thanks for popping by. Smooth stone is what I wanted. This. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Much appreciated. Cool. So I think the decision has been made in terms of how to handle the pallet for the roof. Uh, I think adding in the uh, the jungle added just a little bit of lightness that I think the roof needed to help it separate. I also like these trapdoor details. Those are fun. We do have a small skylight here that shows into the inside. It's subtle, but it is kind of nice. You do kind of notice it there. Uh, not the easiest thing to to do. Oh, that was the one that got flipped. I was like, that looks weird, but it's supposed to look like that. Yeah, so, I, you know, it looks intentional. I, I'm okay with it. Uh, we'll figure out some more rafter details and stuff uh, next time, but I'm glad that we've got the texture and the functionality of what's happening in here down. Um, I will maybe, there's a chance I'm going to fill this in like that. Uh, I don't know what that would mean for here. Probably a switch like that. Just to kind of give it a solid look. Um, I like that. Uh, we obviously still have a lot to have worked to do on the chimney and the back garden. We will sort it all out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do three rows or if I'll do like double rows, it'll probably be like two rows of crops and two rows of crops and then a path down the middle. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Uh, same thing over here. Um, this may be flowers. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But we've also got a potential exit here. Like that. Connecting it up. And we'll work on that as well. But I like how that divides this area. So it creates like a space here and a space there and a space there. So that'll be fun. And I think we'll probably work on the shape of that back lot as well. Uh, this is kind of temporary. So what I'll probably end up doing is designing the garden inside and then as i need to nudge the fence away i'll probably do that like if i decide i want to put something there i'll probably move the fence around the corner so we'll figure that out as we go and obviously we'll add details probably things like this in different positions as we go around and obviously we can do things like add signs if we wanted to add a little bit more of the jungle color although it's probably more of a spruce thing we'll end up doing just to kind of make it look a little bit fancier should be good. Uh, and then of course the chimney will be the other thing we'll work on. But I'm feeling much happier about this than I was when I first started uh, the stream. I think that um, adding in the details and really kind of considering what we needed to do for the color in the roof, I think has helped the roof feel a little bit lighter. Just, just a touch. 
really never underestimate the idea of adding in trapdoors and signs as a layer on your roof. It really does a, a lot. You can see it over here. Like that's um, red nether brick and nether rack with mangrove signs, but it, it really reads as, as planks, but with like some depth and some detail, right? So worth, worth experimenting with layering your signs over different things. I don't know about the ones on the side, but I like the ones in the front. I like these ones. So anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to wrap things up for the day. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing or following or popping over to YouTube and hitting subscribe. It's also free. And uh, if, you've, if you're on a budget and you want to support your favorite creators, check out patreon.com because it is a great way for all of your favorite sub, uh, streamers to be supported, including me. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. There is a brand new episode of the Spawn Chunks out right now, and it is free, thespawnchunks.com. There's a link there to Acast. You can also download it wherever you get your podcasts. And it was myself and Tadpole Milk. Tadpole was filling in for Johnny one last week. Uh, Johnny Pixel Riffs will be back on the show next week. And we'll be picking up um, with uh, all the things that he's going to be doing because he's going to be getting back into Minecraft after almost three weeks away. So that should be an interesting conversation. Uh, Pixel Rifts and I do that every Monday. Uh, Tadpole and I talked about long-term worlds and uh, a little bit of hardcore as well. So that was a fun conversation. And uh, don't forget to check out the Citadel Cafe, which is my other podcast. And uh, again, free, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. We've been talking a lot about the Acolyte. I still have yet to uh, record my final thoughts on the season. I did finish it though. I've watched episodes seven and eight, so I'm all caught up. Uh, we are going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just refresh my stream here and see who is streaming. Let's send you along to Impulse SV. And uh, Impulse was actually on the Spun Chunks just a few weeks ago. And we talked about the crafter and some other cool stuff that he's planning to do in his world. So I'll send you all on there. Have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. I'll be back again tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. I'll see you then. Bye for now.